We are hanging with animals, as you probably would imagine, at the Iowa State Fair, but not just any old animal. When you walk through gate number 15, you want to look to your left, because when you do so, you are going to see something pretty darn cool. We are talking alligators here at the Iowa State Fair. You see a little pool. You see the alligator there. That is Kachunga and the alligator show that is here. Uh, Bert Lucas is joining us uh, right now, and he is holding a very unique specimen uh, nonetheless. And you have a bunch of alligators here. Tell us what you have here. Uh, we have our American alligators here at the Iowa State Fair. This, of course, is an albino. He's very rare, about 100 of them in the world. Now, really? So super rare. We're very fortunate to be able to bring him here to the fair. Um, this is one that the kids at the end of our show have an opportunity to actually touch and feel and get to see what an alligator feels like. Right, and it, it just blows some of the uh, speculation as what alligators are really like and, and what they really feel like and, and uh, when they are alive. So again, very uh, cool creatures. But yep. The question is, uh, why bring alligators uh, to a place like uh, the Iowa State Fair? You know, it's a good question, um, and here's the answer. Because we're trying to educate the public about these animals. So many people from the Midwest love to go down to Florida to vacation. They go to our state parks, they go to Walt Disney World and to Universal Studios. And if you go to Florida, you're gonna see alligators. There's steps you can take to avoid being a victim of an alligator attack. Don't feed the wild alligators is the number one thing that we try to tell people not to do. Do not feed wild alligators. When we feed these animals, we, they lose the fear, the natural fear that they are born with for humans. This is what happened at Walt Disney World about four years right. ago with that tragic loss of that child. Uh, that family was from Nebraska. They didn't know anything about alligator behavior. They let their little boy play at the water's edge when the sun was going down, when these animals are most active. Those alligators had been fed repetitively by the guests of that resort, and as a result, they lost their child. It's a tragic thing. We don't ever want to see that happen again. So we teach people don't feed the alligators. Don't swim in bodies of water where you see large alligators swimming around. The males are territorial, so they're going to attack or run off any other invaders in their territory. And lastly, don't pick up baby alligators if you see one you know, at the water's edge because the mother's very protective of right. her offspring. These are mostly common sense rules, but you know, sometimes people just forget or they don't think about it. And, you know, they think it's fun to feed a wild animal, and they, they set that animal up for a behavior that could be very, very dangerous towards the rest of us. Right, and that's the message you're trying to get out here, and that's the reason that the alligators are here. Uh, but you also have a chance for people to be entertained. You're using uh, entertainment as a vehicle to get the message out. Yeah, that when we get to get in the water with that large alligator and show these people how active these animals can be, how defensive they can be when they're uh, threatened by a human. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to give you a little taste of that here in just a moment. All right, so again, we have the, the albino alligator here. What's the other alligator that you have here? Is it another small one? A like smaller, this? normal colored one. The compare, a, yeah. A little bit smaller, okay. but then um, we have the albino, and then we have the larger ones. Okay, what's the larger shape. one? How big is that one? He's around eight foot long, All around right. 200 pounds. About 200 pounds, and this could do some damage if somebody, if it got a hold of you. Absolutely. It, it, a gator that size could easily kill an adult human. Really? Yeah. Okay. They would drown you. All right. Is what they so do. we want to see what you do with them. I'm going to actually hang on to the alligator. You hold here. that one. I'm going to hold on to the albino alligator here, and uh, Bert's going to jump in and show you what he does uh, with the alligators here. Again, uh, this is uh, right to the left. You walk into gate. Listen. Listen to the gator. He doesn't like this. So the animal's hissing. That's his way of expressing that he's aggravated. And he's trying to intimidate me. They use that loud hissing. Then they start to do this. So it's just defensive displays. They're trying to they're trying to be saying that they want to be left alone. But I'm gonna grab him by his tail, pull him over here in the middle, and catch him for you guys real quick. Okay. And Bert Lucas gonna try to catch him. Well he got him, he's pulling him toward the center now. This is a very, ex very experienced gator handler here. Gator wrangler, he gets on his back and then grabs and keeps his mouth shut. Absolutely amazing. 
Burt Lucas, thank you so much. This is what you can see at the Iowa State Fair, folks. When you come in, gate 15, uh, show times are at 11.30, 1.30, and at 4 o'clock. So if you're coming out to the Iowa State Fair, three different show times each and every day, you want to see gators, yes, alligators, at the Iowa State Fair. We're going to continue with our animal theme here coming up in just a little bit, live at the Iowa State Fair. How about the, the Super Bowl, the big boar, and some lamb? Yeah, we'll check out all three of those coming up in just about a half an hour right here on Iowa Live. Say bye. <laughs> Again, they don't have names. These gators don't have names.